Hi friends, this is my review of my brand new phone from China. It's from eTotalk.com. It is called the Lenovo S750. It has the quad core 1.2 GHz MT65A9 CPU inside. It has uh, GPU Power VR SGX544. It has 1 GB RAM and it has 4 GB of eMMC storage. It supports max um, 20, uh, 32. GB of um, external uh, memory with class 10. It has a 4.5 QHD display with 540 to 960 uh, pixel. It has 60 megapixel colors, IPS LCD. They called it the Gorilla Glass. Uh, it has a dual camera, the back has 8 megapixel autofocus flashlight, the front has only 0.3 megapixels, supports Skype video calls. Uh, it has uh, 720 um, pixel solution for video and makes shot with sound. Gravity sensor, proximity sensor, light sensor and magnetic sensor. Um, the special on this phone, what you see here is uh, it is a waterproof, um, it has a standard IP67, this is the same standard as the Samsung Galaxy Active has. So you see here um, everything is clean now, um, it, it is closed everything you see um, it has touch buttons normally on this side um, you will see the USB it has it's a little bit difficult to, to open the phone because of the waterproofness I will try it wait a moment so it's just really fascinating how deep this and strange it's going out <laughs> you see this is normal this is live just to try it aha uh -huh. okay you see it is gaskets inside so the water will not fluting the system hope so and uh, we we'll try to shoot this one um, this phone runs on Android Jelly Bean 4.2.1. So it's very cool for taste because I think when you have some water on your hands or something like this, uh, it's not glitchy, it's very cool for you hear it. Scratching seems to be very cool. The phone, so um, about the phone, I told you um, this phone runs on Jelly Bean. There was pre installed some launchers, I installed my favorite launcher, the Apex Launcher 2. So, uh, pre installed was the next launcher, pre installed was the Xperia Home Launcher. Uh, so let's have a look inside. I will try it with Apex Launcher in first time. So let's start everything. Um, you will see the typical of Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. We have. Uh, you will see. I have only one SIM card inserted in moment. Uh, the second one is empty in moment, so it will show me. Aha! There's another place for a second SIM card. Um, 
So you see there are coming some emails. I just um, put in um, the accounts for my emails in for testing this. So um, you will see the typical of the jelly bean um, GUI here. The user interface it's the same as uh, CM 10.1 now. You know it. We go to settings. I will show you the smoothness here. It's very smooth the phone. Um, uh, I will change language now for you because the most people speak English. We are from Germany here, so I will try to uh, show you this in in English now. Okay, we changed the language now. You will see uh, we have the sim management here for uh, two normally. In moment, I run. I'm running only one sim card. Uh, we have the settings. We have uh, 3G UMTS now here on this phone. Um, we have some special things from Lenovo called call settings that are different from the normal. Um, we know from our Jelly Bean mobile phones you can try to, to use a little bit more of experience here now. Um, we have the daydream, we have the sleep, we have the front size, we have auto rotate screen, wallpapers, normally everything. Uh, the battery life, uh, I run two uh, runs now for the battery. And I think it's very good. We will see it in the future after some runs now. Uh, it has a 2000 mAh battery inside. We get the location access now on GPS. Everything is installed here and some accounts of mine. To show you, we have a small developer options. It's not really much, but uh, for the first uh, ROMs, um, it's enough for me now. You see, USB debugging is installed and low mock locations is allowed. We can uh, prove it. And uh, the phone for himself has a system updater by Lenovo. Uh, so we can check out now, but I think there's no update in moment. We have the version info. You will see it's Android 4.2.1 version by Lenovo and it's a special ROM I think by eTotalk.com the model number and everything we have here. This is a really cool thing we have a setting wizard here you can uh, try with only one point uh, everything of your settings here now in one. This is really good I think. So let's have a look now inside some programs um, you will see here uh, we have installed on Apex some widgets and so on. We can take a look now here. This is a normal Apex launcher. You, you will know it and you will see everything what we have. We have the SIM card information now here. It's a special SIM card for um, Germany called O2. And, um, Super SU's installed here now. We have the settings. You see it. It's a chain for us. Uh, very good application now running here. I got some specials here. Uh, something like called Cedar. This is specially for the Samsung phones. Uh, it's reducing lags and so on. And uh, yeah, your phone must be rooted with it. That's very important. Uh, we have SD boosters, a very cool app to um, change the running SD cards here, uh, get much more faster than, and um, this is very cool. So we have some special things, Play Store I will show you here, it's normally running here in Germany, my apps list. You will see here are some of my apps I installed. I'm using the uh, AI Type Keyboard Plus. This is really the best keyboard, I think. Um, we will see it later on, I think. Uh, the normal apps 
we have installed here this is titanium I got the license and so what can we do here we can show you um, the Google Maps account is working uh, I think it's the first time starting now ah, okay it's running really that's really cool uh, this is a new Google Maps without latitude and um, so you can see the difference to the former uh, maps versions uh, we installed Google Plus, we installed Flipboard, we have Hangouts here uh, everything which coming from, from Google is supported and works very fine um, we have Antutu benchmarks so um, yesterday I got my first start with this you will see this is the S750 Lenovo um, we will do a chart benchmarking here now we see the info the system info about um, this special phone you will see everything like I told you before um, take a look now so we can just make uh, the benchmark now in live score yes so you will see uh, this was the first there was nothing installed a lot uh, so we can test it again and I give you the information after this so start test so we just have to check out the phone again this is a really cool color it's an orange metallic I think it's all plastic it's not metal here or aluminium it's uh, but it looks very nice and very 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 clean um, you will see it here everything for the waterproofness seems to be in good conditions for this phone so you have the speakers here the out speakers I don't know if they are really but uh, waterproof but I think so um, we have normal touch buttons you will see here in a moment it's a little bit different from the Samsung Galaxy Active which has hardware buttons um, I don't know if you are going diving or something like this with this phone uh, the hardware buttons uh, the manual buttons are a little bit more better I think for handling underwater or in water so uh, I will not try to go one meter downstairs in the water with this phone but I think um, for a short water improvement should be ready to go with the Lenovo here so let's take a look on Antutu watch coming what's coming up now and first we will check out the FPS it's about it's a good thing it's near the special phones from HTC One X and uh, the HTC's the older one the desires we'll see here the FIPS going on Let's see open GL test now by N22 so really waiting for the for the test number now because there is much more installed than yesterday and you know it by Antutu um, this is normal if you have uh, more apps installed it's getting a little bit more in sleeping mode uh, this is typical for Android in this case from Jelly Bean so let's wait a moment we will see the test start in a few seconds now after testing the card speed so I'm really enjoy this feature this benchmark it's really cool so oh you will see this is really good experience for this one so this was the first review of the wonderful, very really cool phone by e2.com. Um, so I will do another test with the water and 
see you soon guys hope you had fun see your next test review bye bye